Hello everybody, I am back. It's been a little while and uh, for those of you who have been listening to the podcast since day one and have been regularly tuning in once every two weeks on a Thursday, just a short note of apology for not keeping up with that cadence of once every two weeks. I've just been so blooming busy building Interobiotics and we've been through some really very exciting major milestones over the last couple of months and being the CEO of a scale-up growth business can be absolutely all-consuming and although the podcast is important to me I think it's important for the field and it's also important for the objectives at Enterobiotics. My uh, sole focus, my the most important thing in my life beyond my family is uh, actually backtrack the most important things in my life beyond my family and my health uh, is fulfilling my role here at Enterobiotics as CEO and I've been given the honour of this role by the board and the shareholders and at the end of the day this is the most important thing because what we're doing here at Enterobiotics has the potential to benefit and impact so many people in such a meaningful and massive way and I know that there are patients out there who don't just want the product that we're developing here they need it in order to live a longer healthier happier life and I feel a great deal of responsibility uh, to serve those patients through my work here as CEO and I also feel a great deal of responsibility to uh, the employees of Enterobiotics who come in here and put great honest work in on a day-to-day -day basis and also for all the investors who have backed the business over the years. So uh, there may be times in years to come where the podcast takes a bit of a back seat because I've got to just put absolutely everything I've got all hours of the day, all days of the week, all weeks of the months into building this business. But I've got a little bit more time now. I've got a holiday planned as of tomorrow evening. And I am now thinking a little bit more about how do we create awesome content for everybody and spread the message about the importance of the microbiome all around the world through all the channels that we're currently publishing on. So what's coming up? We have got some awesome guests lined up over the course of the next few months. We've got some athletes who are also uh, doing really tough jobs as well at the same time. So that's going to be really interesting to hear about how they balance everything and how they approach nutrition and how they think about gut health. I've got some leaders in the field of FMT, intestinal microbiota transfer, who are conducting pioneering research. And I've got scientific experts who have been researching gut microbiome and microbial communities for decades. So really great variety of guests. It's going to be super interesting. You may also have noticed that I am in a different environment. There's a different background here. This is my office in Strathclyde Business Park in Bells Hill. The team at the Glasgow Podcast Studio have very kindly got me set up here. So that means that I'm not needing to travel to and from the studio to be able to record content. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of the solo episodes, which seem to get a lot of traction as well. Talking about prebiotics, probiotics, polyphenols, what's the best diet for the microbiome, how to optimize my health, through the microbiome, uh, what supplements do I take? What's my training regime like? What do I do to maintain my health and well-being alongside working a stressful job? So there's going to be a lot of that coming up as well. Now, for those of you who like the podcast and who are regular listeners, but haven't yet subscribed and haven't yet left a nice review, the best way to support the podcast is to like, subscribe and give a five star review. So if I could just very kindly ask you to show your appreciation if you wish to through those means, that will help push the podcast up, elevate the podcast up um, and that will allow us to reach more people and help more people take control of their health through the gut microbiome. I also had a really nice experience yesterday where I went onto someone else's podcast for the first time 
and that episode should be available in the first week of September. I talked a lot about my views on gut health and nutrition and the microbiome, but I also shared a little bit about the story around enterobiotics and how we went from a idea uh, in my head and then written down on a piece of paper into the business that we are now, which has one drug in a phase two clinical trial, the most advanced manufacturing and analytical facilities in Europe, arguably the world, and an amazing workforce of over 70 people. So if you want to learn more about the journey, that would be a good one. And we'll be highlighting it and hyping it on Inside Matters in addition to that person's podcast as well. So if you've got any feedback, we welcome it. Please direct message us on social media. If you've got uh, anything you'd like to hear discussed on the podcast as well, please shoot those in and we'll try and cover them in future episodes. So that's me for today. Hope you've enjoyed this update. Always remember, gut health is health. Every time you put something into your mouth as part of your day-to-day -day routine and diet, you have an opportunity to improve your microbiome. And that when you improve your microbiome, you improve your overall health and well-being. Thanks, guys. That's me signing off for now.